Okay, Steve, we're about, um, well, about a day and a half away yeah. from the transfer window closing for January. Uh, any closer to getting the deals over the line that you're wanting to? Yeah, very much so, closer. Um, but they're never done to they're done. Um, you know, we've had, a, we've had a play around this morning and uh, showed them around the facilities and, 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 you know, we're just waiting on his club giving us permission to, to make it happen. So we, we have to really uh, be a little bit patient on that one. Uh, second one, we're, I'm literally waiting on a call back from the manager now. And um, on a third one, we're we're just about to make a move that we understand has just become available, so possibly available. So uh, lots of little things going on. Obviously, on top of that, we got we got backups to those, if you like, because the one thing we want to make sure when we when we go go to bed tomorrow night is that Mansfield Town Football Club has a have a plane squad uh, good enough to to try and have a good end to the season, and and that's why we came. Uh, Lee Taylor after the game on, on Saturday mentioned a player was was here. Is one of those one of those two that you're chasing at the moment? Yeah, he was here. He was uh, he was watching and uh, tongue in cheek said to me on Saturday night after the second half, how am I going to get in that team? Uh, because in the second half, I, I think it's as good as we've played, and um, I think we've made a team that's lost by the odd goal in the majority of the games. I, th I think we could have done some damage on Saturday in the second half. But as I reminded the players, only touching on the game, we we can't really deliver that first half. We had all the ball and all the play, but we weren't really on the front foot and we were a yard off at a time. So we, we had to waken them up a little bit. And I've not had to do that many times, but credit to them. I woke them up and, and they woke up and became a giant. So, uh, but back to the back to the players. So one of them was here and watched us and went away impressed. He's here today and he's happy to, to make something happen, providing, of course, that we can get the nod from their chairman. And what about the two from last week that you talked about, the big deal, and of course the one that you were trying to get the 18-month contract and, and take that over? Are they likely to keep going, or have you dropped the interest in those two? Well, we've not dropped the interest. I think the big deal is probably more than we're prepared to pay, and it's a lot more. If it, it, you know, I, mean, I think our chairman made it absolutely clear to me. Let's let's establish if it's more or a lot more, and it's a lot more. So, you know, I think the, there is no doubt that John Radford would have would have paid more money and um, would have got that deal done. Um, I think his representatives, the kids' representatives, was was prepared to uh, to bring the boy here and let's have a chat to him. So that one's probably going a bit. The second one's not. Second one's very much alive, and that's the one where we're literally sitting by the phone, as you see. So I'm prepared for a long day today, but that'll be where it goes. But it, hopefully, it's not a long day tomorrow because it means you're you're chasing things through as we go towards the 11 o'clock deadline.